Okay, got our first request, and that was that I did not show how we could put actions on the backdrop. And what kind of things would you put on the backdrop? Well, you see here some of the looks, you can switch the backdrop. You can change color effects. So that's if you want to change the setting, maybe a stage changes or something like that. With motion, you really can't do much in the background, right? But look at this one, sound. Maybe we could do some sound. So here again, we have our little triangle so we can play more than one sound. We can play pop or record. Mm, I don't really want to do either of those. We go into the sounds menu up here though and we can add a new sound from the library and the one I think that fits for this aquarium is bubbles you can sample it right here like this hit the play button and you can hear it all right so we've added bubbles now so now when we go back to scripts we can play pop or bubbles so now we can play bubbles but again just like all of our sprites did they start their routine when the green flag is clicked. So our stage will do the same thing. Click on the events. When the green flag is clicked. Well, do we want to play the bubble sound just once? Probably not. The fish are just swimming once, right? So what do we do? Go into the control pal and we choose the forever block, right? Just like the fish were swimming. We're going to play the sound bubbles. And now when we hit the green flag, the bubbles are always playing there in the background. And for kids, that is fun <laughs> for adults. Maybe they need to just play it every now and then. And so what we could do is remember with the fish, what we did to do every now and then was pick some number and then pick a random number. And then if that coin flip worked in our favor, we would play the bubbles thing. Or we could do something simpler too, which this was to choose something, but we're looking for a delay here. Play the sound bubbles, then let's wait some amount of time before playing it again. And if we always wait one second, it becomes this weird pattern. So let's pick a random number. And now the bubbles will pop up every now and then depending on how tolerant your parents are whether you have headphones on you can play every second and wait a random 10 seconds i'm going to change mine to at least five seconds and up to 15 seconds and then the bubbles will come up again all right so those are some things you can have scripts for in the backdrop and as we get into more advanced programs, we'll see more examples of that. All right, so there we go. That's our aquarium again. Oh, I should say this. Aquarium. Save your work. It's fun to come back and look at it every now and then. All righty. That's it for now.